Hey, so in this video, I'd like to show you how I try to deal with one of the most frustrating things when it comes to programming, and that is regular expressions. Now, for me, this means dealing with regular expressions within no-code tools like make.com, but it applies to basically every part of programming. Now, if you've never heard about regular expressions, lucky you, but chances are if you've done any kind of programming, you will have encountered regular expressions at some point or another. Now, what are regular expressions? They're basically a search query that lets you find a specific text in a soup of text. And they have a really, really weird syntax, like a cat walking over a keyboard. Now, where am I using regular expressions? Basically all over the place. Here I have an example of a scenario where I'm reading an RSS feed and I'm parsing a URL from the feed and I'm running that through ChatGPT. What does this look like? Now, this is my RSS feed. It brings back an URL, but the URL is encapsulated inside of a Google link. And I need only the inside link. So I need to extract that. So this is another way of looking at it. This is my original text. The green URL is the one that I want. And to cut this out, I'm searching for these red parts here. So the prompt I'm using to get this regex from ChatGPT, for example, is this one here. I'm giving it the text snippet that I have, and I'm telling it what I'm looking for. So I could also tell it, you know, extract the internal URL, and maybe it would be smart enough to come up with an example, but I find it's more helpful if I really give it concrete instructions what I'm looking for. And the really frustrating part is that I've tried this with several AIs and they always come back with different examples as you can see here. So this is the one uh, that I got back that actually worked. And I'd like to show you how I'm testing these out inside of make.com to see if the regex actually works without burning through a whole lot of operations. And for this, you have two possibilities. One, you could actually learn regex or two, do what I do, trial error. And how do I do trial error without burning through a whole lot of operations in maker.com? This is what I do. I create a, a new scenario that only has one text parser module in here. So one thing to note, there are two text parser actions. You can find it by searching for the text parser module. And inside the text parser module, there is match pattern and there is match pattern advanced. For some reason, I'm way more successful with the match pattern ad advanced. Only in the standard match pattern action, is a link to an online help article on how to create regexes. But frankly, I didn't really find this helpful at all. So here's what I do. I take the match pattern advanced action, and this is how I try out my regexes. Down here, I paste the text that is to be searched via regex. And up here where it says pattern, I paste the regex. There, click OK, and then just run this. Click OK, and then just run this module once. And this will show you immediately if you and this will show you immediately if the regex is working correct or not. You have your original text up here, you have your regex, and down here you have the result that it came back with. So again, the same prompt came back with four different regexes, at least, um, across several AIs, and I found this really frustrating because honestly, I don't want to know about regexes. I just want to take something that I can copy and paste uh, and be done with it. So again, this is the way that I'm trying to test these regexes, if they work or not. And I'd be really curious to hear if you found any other way to create regexes more reliably besides actually learning how to create regexes. So please leave them in the comments if you found anything. I'd love to hear your solution. Thanks.